up to speed, week in review. Hey everyone, Jennifer here with Jeremy to get you up to speed on everything that happened around and inside Verizon this week. We started the week talking about our latest human ability spot, featuring the importance of our network for first responders and communities in need. People rely on us to ensure they can communicate when they need it most. Now we start to see and hear about how important those connections are for the areas impacted by Hurricane Michael. Here's Kate Jay to give us an update. Our network teams are working around the clock to keep our customers connected. In the hardest hit areas where we are seeing some service interruptions, we have presage equipment and people for those repairs. In the Panhandle and across the Southeast, we are working with local, state, and federal emergency management teams to coordinate their communications needs. Free calls, texts, and data continue for our customers in the impacted area, and we just announced a $250,000 grant to the American Red Cross to support relief efforts. Thanks, Kate. As our credo says, we run to a crisis. So when Walton County, Florida officials needed our help, a B2B team made up of Tim McHugh, Paul Flood, Trent Griggs, Stephen Elms, and Dustin Stevens got in a car and drove phones and jetpacks 130 miles from Mobile, Alabama to the storm-stricken area. We're currently on our path to Walton County so we can deliver phones directly to our customers who is in desperate need while they're dealing with Hurricane Michael. We're here to support our customers. Great to see our credo in action and glad they made it back safely. Absolutely. Our thoughts are with everyone in the area affected. If you are a V-teamer who had to leave your home due to the storm, V2V is here to help. If you're looking to help, please consider a donation to V2V. It's important to keep the fund strong for times like this. Google unveiled some exciting new devices and accessories this week, including the Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL, plus the Pixel Stand for wireless charging and Google Home Hub. George Coronius from the PR team used a new feature in the Pixel camera called Playground to create a little augmented reality here in the Baskin Ridge cafeteria. It's very cool to see that. Google Pixel 3 is available for pre-order now and available in stores on October 18th. Some great promos too, including a buy one, get one offer. All the details are on the web. The sign on the wall reads, the road is my office, I am a dude. See how we're helping delivery dudes deliver more happiness. Reliability is everything and Verizon's network is more reliable. If we lose connectivity, then the whole thing shuts down. Verizon has made this whole process so easy to scale what we need. A company that size, being able to help a small company like Delivery Dudes really get to the next level is amazing. We also got to meet Arden Shore. Arden's dad, V-teamer Justin Shore, an indirect account manager, streamed the happy moment when Arden rang the no more chemo bell, signifying she just received her final chemotherapy treatment. And being able to stream this happy moment was never a problem because he is on the best network. Our annual Hispanic Heritage Month event took place this week. It was streamed live on HuffPost Latino. You can watch that replay online. There was live entertainment and special guests like Bernie Alestia of HBO, who is one of Fortune's 50 most powerful Latinas in business. Verizon and its LGBTQ employee resource group Globe partnered with PFLAG National on an event focused on promoting Verizon and PFLAG's message connected by pride and supporting the LGBTQ community for National Coming Out Day on Thursday, October 11th. Busy week. That will do it for us this week. Remember to follow us on social for everything happening around and inside Verizon. Till next time, you are up to speed.